Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ezradimension.com and today in this video we are talking about component testing in Playwright. This is yet another feature from Playwright to do testing of a web application much efficiently using component testing. So before jumping into component testing, let's first understand what is this component. Well, the components are the independent and the reusable bits of code and they serve the same purpose as JavaScript functions but works in isolation and returns HTML via a render function. And the components comes in two types. One is the class component, another one is the function components. And the one that we are going to be discussing in this video is going to be the class components, not the function components. And we'll see how this class components can be tested much efficiently using the component testing option available in Playwright. So the first thing which we need to do before we get started with the component testing is to install a new package or a new way of experimental feature which is available in Playwright is called as hyphen hyphen CT option or the component testing. So this is a new thing that we need to install as a part of the Playwright's existing installation. So once you do that, you will see that it's going to be an Playwright experimental package will be added in your dev dependency. So this is basically like initialization. So basically once you do the init, you're going to have like a bunch of files being added, something like this. It is going to have a Playwright folder and there is going to be a catch folder. Within the catch folder, there is going to be an index.html file and the index.js file and also playwright-ct.config.js file. So this is uh, these are like four or five different files that are going to be added as a part of the init that you basically do. So these are something which is very, very important for you to do the component testing. And I will tell you what is the purpose of this index.html and the index.js file. And of course the config, you know that, but this is exclusive for the component testing. So once you have that, then we can start writing the simple test as you can see over here. Basically, as you can see this test, it is gonna look pretty much exactly the same how you see the Playwright test, but the only thing which is different here is you can see that it's gonna be like a mount as a parameter which has been used. And this mount is actually coming from the experimental package that I was talking about. And this mount is gonna mount your application or any other component which is available within your application. It can be a login component, it can be a settings component, or a profile component. It can be of any component. And this is where your components are gonna be mounted, and then you can perform testing on that particular component. And what I mean about mounting is basically, you are gonna basically load this component of your application into Playwright's context using what is called as the two files that I was showing, the index.html file and the index.js file. So this is where the things are gonna be happening like a magical behind the scene. So once you do the mount, it is gonna mount the code for you, like a bundle it for you, and then it's gonna run the test on the browser. So this is how it actually works. So your code that you see over here, once you do the mount, it is going to basically compile the component, bundle the component, and then it is going to run that particular component or like publishing the component into the page that we have, these two pages, the index.html and index.js file. And then it is gonna run that on a browser. I think it's the port number is 3100. This is where the application is gonna basically run. So this is, this is how it actually works. So this is the actual essence of how the component testing works in Playwright and we are gonna see in this particular video how we can write a simple component test and also how we can write a bit more complex component test. So let's get started. So in order to test how the Playwright component testing can be done on an application, we need to have an application under test. And the way that we are gonna do in this particular video is we are gonna first create a template application using the create react app. And then we're gonna see how we can add few more components in it, and then we can test the same thing using the Playwright component test. That is the two things that we are gonna do in this particular video. So the first thing is I'm gonna say npm, I think it's npx create react app and then react basic login. So this is like a template that you can actually use using the create react app. Like it is gonna just create a folder like react basic login, and then we need to actually add the code on the top of it. So let this particular whole thing to execute and then I will show you how the application is actually going to look like. So you can see that it has created the 
a simple application for us. And then it's telling me that you need to just go to this particular folder and then you can just do npm start. So let's follow the same instruction. So I'm gonna go to this particular folder and then I'm gonna do npm of start. So this is gonna launch the application for me. So you can see that it has opened a local host of 3000 and then it's gonna run a single page application like uh, this over here. So this is not like a login application, or something like that. Basically, this is just a normal React application. All right, so we have this application up and running, which is great. And then the next thing which I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the uh, Playwright testing feature in it. But before I do that, if I just go to this particular application right now, if I just do code dot, you will see that this is the code which is generated using the template for uh, application of the React. So you can see that it has the application code over here. It has the app.js file and it has the app.test.js file. And actually it is using the testing library of the React to do the component testing. It is actually one of the component testing which is available in build while you create a React application. So they already have a uh, component testing in place already over here. So this is how they do the uh, actual component testing and you can see that they use this render and then they uh, use this applications pretty much like mount that we are going to be doing in a couple of minutes. So you, they used to do the same exact thing uh, already in React applications. But let's not worry about the testing library for now. Let's worry about the Playwright component testing. So in order to install the Playwright, we need to do this. We need to do the npm init playwright at latest hyphen hyphen space hyphen hyphen ct. So once we do that, as I told you, it is gonna create a scaffolding code for us inside this particular React basic login project. And then it is gonna be helpful for us to do the rendering and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna choose the JavaScript as the language. And I mean, you can use type if you want. And then I'm going to use React and then I'm going to install the Playwright browsers and stuff. So these are the things just automatically going to pop up for us, pretty much like how we do the Playwright. And once I do that, you will see that I have a Playwright folder and I also have the playwright.cd.config.js file. So these are the two uh, extra files that have been added. Uh, the index.html file will actually have like a simple HTML skeleton where it is going to run this index.js file. Uh, with the script, but on the body, it is going to uh, run the mounted uh, component that we already have. So we don't really have any component at the moment, but we are going to start writing it. So the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this particular code that we have at the moment because we don't really require this code. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And then I'm going to import our playwrights package, which is going to be the usual test and the expect for the assertion and then i'm gonna say um, add playwright and you can see that there is a slash experimental hyphen ct slash react package so this is the uh, package which is going to be responsible for us to do the component testing right and once i have this i can then start writing the code i also need to import the component which is going to be the app component that we have this is the applications component which is the one which is something we are going to be mounting and then we are going to be running the test and we're going to see if there is a text called learn react in it. That is the whole idea of this particular test. So I'm going to say import app from and then I'm going to say dot slash app. So this is going to uh, basically import the uh, app component and then we're going to start running it. So the first thing is I'm going to say test and I'm going to say first test of the component and then I'm going to say I think and I'm going to actually pass the mount over here uh, and in this particular body I'm going to say const component is equal to because this is going to be a synchronous code we need to wait and I'm going to say mount where I'm going to mount the app which is going to be the application uh, component that we're talking about. So I'm going to say app, something like this. And this is the app which we have mounted over here. So now that you can see that this is pretty much exactly like the testing libraries code. 
instead of the render we are using the mount here and then i'm gonna say wait expect uh, of what is called as the component to uh, probably to contain a text like learn react so this is what is our testing basically so we're gonna run this particular code and we'll see how it actually works so i'm going to save this particular code and uh, let me try running this bigger test and you will see how fast the test execution will be but before we start running this bigger code we'll also need to change one of the most important things in particular um, test which is nothing but the test file name itself it shouldn't be app.test.js which has been used by the testing library but in, uh, in the playwright it should be app.spec.jsx or js whatever so I'm going to go with a JSX because this is going to differentiate basically for the testing. So I have did that. And now if I go to the uh, runner here, and fortunately the runner is not showing me anything over here. So let me save this. Yeah. So it's not discovering me the test, but the best way is to actually deal with uh, the command line interface itself so in order to do that i'm actually going to go to the terminal over here and i'm going to say npm run test hyphen ct so this is the one command which is going to help us to run the uh, component testing so i'm going to execute that and you will see that once i do it it is going to identify that there is a test and it has to run in three workers which is for the chromium webkit and for the firefox and then it runs th the whole thing and then you can see that there is going to be a report coming up so if i just run this npx playwright show report which i think i already have that in my history so you can see that it is running in the local host 9223 so if i just go over here local host of 9223 you can see that i have a report which is actually served from the uh, playwrights test reporting and you can see that we have a report over here so we are basically comparing the learn react whether it exists or not so yeah we have a nice re little report and as well as it's running on three different browsers like chromium firefox and webkit and we already have the component testing up and running along with the report which is great and now what happens if I wanted to see this particular test execution in action instead of just running it blindly. So if I wanted to do it, uh, so you can just go to the test over here. I don't know, for some reason, the test is not coming up. I think most of the time I end up having this problem. So what I do is I close this particular IDE completely and then I open the core dot, something like this. And you'll eventually notice that the test will have the click to run the test cheeky right but yeah anyways it's depends on how your id behaves but my id weirdly behaves like this i don't know why maybe it's my apple m1 um mac is not optimized for that but anyways so if i run this code right now but i'm not going to run like this but rather i'm going to debug this particular code so if i go over here and there is this debug button and we already have a debugger breakpoint so i'm just going to debug it and you will notice that it is going to launch a browser for me behind the scene and it has the application fully up and running do you see that and this is the application which is running on the localhost colon 3100 port number which is nothing but your actual index.html file that we have over here you see that the index.html file that's the exact same thing the playwright slash index.html folder this is the file that we're talking about the component testing this is what is happening behind the scene and it is loading or mounting this whole application for you the component for you into the particular page and then it is running it and you can see that it is verifying that and it's done so if you just try to change this to learn reacting or something like that and then if you try running the same test again the test is eventually going to fail and it will tell you that there is nothing called as learn reacting or something like that there is something called as learn react right so yeah there we go that's that is the one way to do the component testing over here the next thing which i'm going to talk about is how we can do the exact same thing for a quite bigger application so for that i'm just gonna freeze this time a bit and then i'll come back with that application and then i will show you quickly how it's going to look like welcome back 
So now that I have another application where this application actually has got uh, what is called as an app along with the profile.js and there's a signin.js which is gonna perform a sign-in operation for me over here. It also has some profiles over here. So this is two component, which is something that we can test it as well. So I'm not gonna basically run this particular code because we have already seen this, how it works. But as you can see over here, should work again for the email or probably should work for email uh, is the scenario which I'm gonna show you. So basically I'm mounting the sign-in component here and then I'm trying to verify some of the things which we can't really test it with the tools like Selenium much, much easily. I mean, we have to do a lot of things over here on the particular Selenium tool or Playwright tool, but here it's very, very straightforward. So you can see that it is very much focused on a specific component like sign-in component. And also we're verifying whether while the page loads that the password is not focused, rather the email address is focused. And then I'm also uh, entering the email and then I'm verifying if the email is still focused. And once I go to the password and still I fill it, then the password text box is still focused. And then there is this sign in uh, button, which I click it, then it should be logging in. I mean, I don't have to verify if the login operation works fine or not because it is component testing. So we just have to focus on a specific component rather than the full workflow itself. So if I try running this particular test, you will notice that the test is eventually going to pass. So that's not a doubt about it. So you can see that it has executed so quickly there. So if I just wanted to debug this particular code and I will show you what I really mean and how the application even looks like. So let me resume it. So you can see that the browser has been opened and there is this application and you can see that right now the password is not uh, focused rather the email has been in focus and now we are in the email address. So if I try doing it, probably I just put it side by side. And if I go to the next line, you can see that the email address is being entered and the email address is focused that's so getting passed. And then we are locating, uh, going to the password, we're filling the password there and the password is still focused. And then we're clicking the sign in button and then we're verifying if sign in is success or not. And you can see that the sign in is success and the test has got passed already, which is cool. So this is the testing that I was talking about. This is this is where the component testings are gonna be quite interesting and very, very useful while we actually do it. We can also do a lot more testing. We can actually see if the networking is working fine or not, like we could able to uh, mock the networking, like what response comes up, and then we can verify if that particular uh, response is working fine for us or not. And then we can do a lot more testing. And these testings can be pretty much done, as I told you, on a component level, rather actually doing it like an end to end level, but on a specific component and using the playwrights component testing, it is very, very straightforward. And as I told you, the playwright component testing is even more powerful and leveraging the same potential that we could do it with other tests. Like we can run that in the command line, we can see the report and we can also uh, run the same test from the IDE like Visual Studio code. And you can see that it also shows me the number of milliseconds it has taken and also the pass and fails and stuff. It's quite awesome. And I think the playwrights component testing is game changer, very useful for developers as well as for the testers, like how we can test on a specific component. That's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.